This is Twit. Since it just happened, I just thought I would mention that Apple is continuing, as they announced at the Worldwide Developers Conference yesterday morning, um, to move you know, in their, in the direction they've been going for some time, uh, you know, stating that, that one of the things that they're selling, one of the things their customers want is increased privacy. And so one thing that they've done in Safari, there, there, there's a, they announced Mac OS Mojave is, uh, as the next major, um, MacBook OS and iOS 12. Um, I did note somewhere in just digging around in the last day that apparently that an iPhone 6s, which is now an old iPhone, would do something a lot faster under iOS 12. I don't remember what it was, but it was like everything. Oh, oh no, it's a know. big big change. Oh, so it's a big big uh, overall performance improvement. improvement. Yeah, seventy percent oh, improvement yay. in this, in um, opening the camera. Times a double improvement in um, uh, apps. I want to say app switching. Uh, Fifty oh. percent big improvement, and and people yay. have already reported with the beta that they're seeing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yay, yeah, yeah. Really yay. focused so, on performance. Whew, nice. So that's good. Um, in Safari for both platforms, both Mac OS and uh, and iOS, um, we've talked a lot about a lot about fingerprinting. And that th th there's that Panopticlick site, which makes it, you know, is, is, is a, I think the IETF, it uh, sponsors it. And that's that site, which has experimented with and shows a user when you go to Panopticlick, how unique the fingerprint is that results from hashing a bunch of the browser headers. And we've talked about this through the years that, for example, the 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 user agent header will sh tell you not only what device you, what like browser you're using but like what library of active x and they're like version numbers you know 3.29.724.0326 and somebody else will have .0327 and so their browser headers hash to a different fingerprint than yours and when you combine that you know, like all the version numbers of the plugins with uh, and in some cases the browsers will enumerate which fonts they have you know which font libraries they have installed so that a web server could know what fonts are available to be rendered in the browser there's just you know this the, you know, the browser headers have exploded over the years with all this extra information which with surprising accuracy can can without the user doing anything allow sites that want to track them to lock onto them with this fingerprint so one of the things that we learned yesterday is that safari is going to deliberately take action to thwart that kind of fingerprinting so that's good um you know and it's funny too because I, in thinking about this, I realized how easy it is to confuse tracking with advertising. The, I think that the two get mixed up a lot together because when you when you start talking about blocking tracking, there's this oh, but wait a minute, how are sites going to survive? And 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 it's like wait a minute, you know, advertising and tracking are separate things. You can still have ads if you're not being tracked around the internet. So, you know, there, there's track, tracking blocking is different than ad blocking. And um, it seems that what we're seeing is a, a pushback, well, obviously against both, but but th there is an understanding, I think, and some some websites are are taking action on this as we as we've talked about, where if they see you're running an ad blocker, they can say, and I, I don't, I'm encountering that from time to time because I run U Block Origin, and I'll often say, oh yeah, okay, fine, and you know, dr and allow ads on a site that I want to support. Now that's that that sort of uh, follows into the other feature that I'm going to be interested to s experience. And Leo, I don't know if you've talked to anybody who's using this next Safari, but what they showed us yesterday at on, during the 
uh, opening, uh, you know, what's new at the WWDC was a pop up which you would get saying that, you know, asking for permission yeah. for another site to track you on the site you're visiting. And that's for so, like a and, Facebook like button. So that means on the page that there you're on, there's JavaScript that then sends data to a third page. It's like third party cookies, except it's not. It's using, I presume, JavaScript to do that, right? Um, well, actually, it could be using first party cookies because right because when you when you have an object like a like button, it looks like then it's coming from that inside the exactly. house. Exactly, well, it, yeah. it actually is sourced by Facebook. So that so when when you're logged into Facebook. As you but the browser the knows net. where – so the thing is the browser knows what page you're ostensibly on and then yes. sees a link back to Facebook and that's when it says, oh. And so that's what I'm confused about because – so they, they're calling this Intelligent Tracking Prevention 2.0. Well, there's two so just, things they're doing. So there's that and then they're, it looks like they're blocking super cookies. You know that well, okay, so so that's the browser fingerprint I was just yeah, talking about. Yeah, right? yeah. So I think those are so, separate. They are, yeah. And so, so what Craig said, what for our for our listeners who didn't see this, he showed a Safari page with a pop up notification reading, "Do you want to allow Facebook.com to use cookies and website data while browsing?" And then whatever wherever it was you were, and and in their example, it was blabbermouth.net. And so here's the problem, Leo. Like, there's nowhere you go today. <laughs> That doesn't have like all this third party crap loaded onto the page. So, I, I, like I said, I, I'm going to be really interested to see what they're doing. I mean, are they going to sing? I, they, I can't imagine they're going to single out Facebook. No, or, although this or was Google. intended to single out Facebook and Google in the announcement. Yeah. I mean, that was very clear. It was a yeah. shot to the Facebook and Google. But yeah, I mean, uh, I guess they, I guess they could treat any call to a third party site like a third party cookie, right? But you'd be buried you'd be <laughs> buried <laughs> in, in permission yeah. dialogues. Yeah. I just it's it's freaky. And but um on this second page of the show notes is my own chart from my own site that has always stood out in my mind. And uh this you know years ago their browsers were not handling cookies correctly. So I created this cookie forensics this. Yeah. system. Yeah. But what stands out among all the browsers is Safari. Look at the Safari bar because Apple has always blocked third-party cookies by default. And they're the only browser to, to do so. And it's just, it's always impressed me that that you know, here here among all the browsers, and obviously this, this chart is dated now. We've still got FF version, two, Firefox version two, version three, and version four. I haven't you know messed with this for a long time, but but there is like this little tiny bar of Safari. Now, this of this protection fails, of as I was just mentioning, when you start hosting content by you know like like active content from from other sources because then those though then you got javascript and, and other technologies present but still you know apple has in fact has a has a long history of of blocking this kind of action so i know i just wanted to share with our listeners that apple is continuing to move forward and but you do raise I'm, an interesting point I, I, oh yeah it's not beyond apple to kind of trumpet something like this but do something less aggressive in under the hood so we'll i just see. i don't know how it could possibly they can't work. do this yeah it's no, just it's right. just gonna be like no script at, yeah nothing would work nothing would work yeah. yeah and and maybe there's like a don't don't ask me again sort of thing where it's like you know so i mean that's the only way i could imagine it is yeah you immediately start using the new version it says and so like it's not a per site question unless maybe you want it to be but it's like no, and don't ever ask me again. Sort of option. I, I just don't know. It'll be really interesting to see how this how this plays out. Because, boy, there, I mean, the, these days there's nowhere you go that doesn't have a third party stuff. So, I, e e either they're 
explicitly looking for particular domains. Of course, then, you know, Google and Facebook would cry foul saying, hey, you're singling us out for for abuse compared to everybody else. And uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how this happens. I don't know.